Hi, my name is Jen Twaits. I'm the Applications Engineer here at CareStream, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the DRX Revolution Mobile X-Ray System. CareStream launched the Revolution System several years ago. It has been the number one selling mobile system in the market, and it was the first mobile system to have a collapsible column. CareStream engineers have redesigned that system today with the HUSH initiative in mind. There has been scientific studies proving that patients heal much quicker when they receive more rest and receive less interruptions by hospital uh, workers. So with the redesign of the cart, the engineers have dampened the motors, making the sound of this cart driving in and out of patient rooms pretty much inaudible. They have also added a collapsible um, cap, quiet cap on the collapsible column that eliminates the sound of the clicking that you would normally hear when the column is moving up and down. In addition to that, the brakes in the tube head itself have been quieted. So normally the clicking and rattling that you would hear when a tube is being positioned over a patient, all that noise is pretty much eliminated. And there are less disruptions. In addition to quieting the cart down for the HUSH initiative, we've also added some new features to the Revolution system. The LED cart status indicator here is the light um, that is a visual indicator to the technologist as to what the status of the x-ray system is. Um, we actually have a few different colors that the uh, status indicator will turn. So if it, the system is ready and uh, waiting for an exposure, it's going to be green. If it's um, prepping for an exposure, it will be yellow. And during an actual x-ray exposure, it will turn to orange. We also added an HDMI port, uh, as well as the USB ports on the back of the cart. This allows the technologist to uh, connect the Revolution system to an external monitor. The external monitor allows physicians uh, in situations like an operating room or an emergency room to actually be able to instantly see the image in a scenario where it may be difficult for them to see the tube head display or the main console. On the opposite side of the cart, you'll notice we've moved the position of the plug. So the retractable plug is now in a higher location, so it's much more ergonomic for the technologist. It also is going to reduce service costs because the cord being raised will not be um, left dragging and be run over by the cart. We also have storage for all uh, three different sizes of detectors. So the 4343, the 3543, and the 2530 can all be stored in the cart at the same time. We have uh, spare battery ports for uh, two different batteries. And then again, you still have your detector bag uh, slot, your regular traditional exposure switch, and your remote exposure switch. This is optional. In the bin, you have the ability to hold your detectors for bagging. There's a couple of different locations. One is actually in the detector uh, bin slot. The other location is on top of the handle. So you simply just place your detector on top. It's stationary and will be secure for detector bagging. The bin on the Revolution system has been redesigned. It now offers an optional detector bin lock. This eliminates the detectors from walking away when the Revolution car is left unattended. We also allow you to uh, store all three detector sizes. So you can store your 4343 detector, your 3543, and your 2530 detectors all at the same time. Optionally, the first slot in the bin allows you to um, both store and charge either the 3543 or the 4343 detectors. 
At the bottom of the bin is a slot that allows you to store and charge two of your spare detector batteries. The tube head on the DRX Revolution mobile system has been redesigned. The overall uh, weight and size has been reduced, making this much easier to maneuver in tight situations such as a patient incubator in the neonatal intensive care unit. We've also increased the uh, range of motion, specifically in the back and forth motion of the tube. And we've added detents. Um, to allow the technologist to have some tactile feedback when positioning the tube for um, their exam. The collimator knobs, which are traditionally on the front of the tube, have been redesigned and they are now on both sides of the tube head. So that gives the technologist access to the collimator controls regardless of their position. So if they're in a cross table lateral situation, they quickly can grab those knobs and they're in a nice location for that. So both displays can easily be wiped off, eliminating the chance of spread of any infection or anything. The new design of the Revolution system launched on our new ImageView software platform. The ImageView software platform is supported by Windows 10 and offers improved cybersecurity. One of the main uh, features of the ImageView software is that it eliminates screen transitions and allows the technologist to have everything they need from one screen. So from this screen, which we call the image acquisition screen, we separated that into uh, panels. So you have your left panel, this has your patient information, your exam information, allows you to switch back and forth between different views within your procedure. In the center stage area, you'll find the image for viewing, and then on the right panel, you have access to all of your image editing tools, as well as your generator controls. The CareStream DRX Revolution system is powered by our DRX Plus detectors. These detectors support X-Factor and allow you to quickly share detectors throughout your facility. We at CareStream continue to listen to the voices of our customers when making redesigns and changes to our product. We hope that the changes we have made help improve your day-to-day -day workflow going forward.